Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. And yes, you read the title correct, we are going down that road. The road that has a lot of hate and obviously without even watching this video, a lot of people might have come on to the video and start have posting these abusive comments in this video. Yes, because some of the people are like too much sensitive about the language issue, but yes, uh, I cannot be just be afraid of those people and cannot just talk about this subject. This is an interesting and important subject that every beginner should understand. So yes, I'm going to be talking about that. 5 a.m. and we are in trouble But we don't really care Tell ourselves there's always before I get started and talk about how much English is important for a programmer or developer, I would like to mention two very important points. The first one is, I am from Jaipur, my hometown is from Jaipur, that's why I speak Marwadi as my language. Also, since I am from northern part of the country, I do speak Hindi as well. I know English as I'm talking in that language, so I know a little bit about it. I'm not a grammar Nazi, I'm also not completely a guru of English, but I speak decently so that people can understand what I talk. I also can completely read Spanish as well and can talk about that in a bit. So yes, I'm multilingual and that is an important point. I'll, I'll come back on to this again, but that's a point number one, interesting and important. Point number two. I belong to a developer community and I think developer community is the best community present on the world because we are developers. We don't discriminate based on nation, caste, language, your gender. We are just all like the most amazing persons on the planet. We don't. We just code and that's it. Code doesn't understand your gender or all these bias things. So that's why I belong to a developer community. A developer, for example, Google. It's a product. It doesn't discriminate you based on anything. You search on it, it gives you a result. People on development side try to build amazing things like Uber for example. It just gives you a ride wherever you want to. It doesn't discriminate based on what language do you speak or what language you don't speak. So that's why I consider myself as a developer first and I just love this amazing community. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because this type of community in the developer is the most sensible community who thinks as, as well as try to understand what is the perspective of the person who is trying to say something. Very important two things. That's my point number two. Okay, so yes, I like to always talk about my things with the examples. I will come back on to the point that how much English is important. Let me give you some examples and proof as a concept. Now, once I was traveling to Dubai, and there were some Chinese group too who were also happened to be going to Dubai as well, directly from China. And it happened somehow that they stopped at Delhi or probably they might be visiting from Delhi. Uh, they were hopping to Dubai. Now, what I saw there, a lot of people, and you, by the way, let me tell you that Chinese people are so proud on their language. The Chinese, they are always like, go Chinese and all these stuff. Now, regardless of what they think about their language or they don't think about their language, it is a compulsion that during the transit visa, you have to fill out your name and passport number. Now your name, regardless of wherever you are belonging or whatever country you are representing there, you have to write your name in English. No exception at all. So those Chinese people, some of they, them didn't knew English much. So they were just trying to draw their name in the English. That was really funny, but that's a true incident. A lot of them were trying to just draw their name in English because they didn't know the English. Now there is no exception for them because they are so proud on their language or not. You have to go in English, that's the rule. Example number two. One of my friend happened to be a pilot. Previously he was flying to uh, Delhi to France, now he's, now he's flying from Delhi to Thailand. And he told me this exact word and I verified it, it is correct. All the simulation of the flight, regardless of whatever the country is, all the simulation of the flights are in English. All the books are in English. Whether you go to France, whether you go to Germany, whether you go to Thailand, all of them are English. So how, no matter how proud you are on, on your language or not, if you want to become a pilot, English is the language. Now some of you might be wondering why I am telling you all of this. Let me prove it by another programming related examples. Now the examples that I want to present to you, I don't want you to take just my word, go ahead and verify them as well. Now let's just say a client came to you and says in my Android app or iOS app or, app or a web, I want to integrate PayPal services. PayPal is a payment gateway and you can provide that services. Not a big thing to be asked by a client. It's a very routine process. You'll see that quite a lot. Now what will happen? 
just go to the documentation obviously you will be going to the documentation of paypal website and will learn how these can be integrated in ios app or android now go to paypal documentation and you will notice that all of that documentation is in english yes they do support multiple currencies but there is just one documentation there and that happened to be in english another example for all of my fellow friends from india in india paytm is a very famous wallet just like paypal ish thing for india it's a really famous wallet now regardless wherever you are from the country maybe northern part or southern part just go ahead and try to find the documentation of Pay paytm how you can integrate that in your website again what you will notice is everything is in English. Integrating Facebook or Google login is a very common thing for social platform. Whether you like it or not, it's not a matter. If clients is asking you to integrate that, we have to do it. Try to look into the documentation of that. You will also find that these documentation are in English. And yes, if you are a developer, you happen to already know that Stack Overflow, the giant lifesaver of every programmer is happen to be also in English. So yes, we have to agree that English is a dominant language. Now it's a, not a matter of whether you like that language or not. If you want to become a programmer, if you want to become a developer, English is the language here. Now I do have variety of my friends from France. I do have friends from Russia as well. When we talk on Skype, English is the language we choose. You will be surprised to know that a lot of French people do oppose quite a lot English here. But regardless of that, if that guy is a developer, you have to learn English. There is no exception in that. When you start writing code, eventually you'll become better developer and eventually you'll be attending a lot of conferences. These conferences do happen all over the globe, in Thailand, in Las Vegas, in Asia, uh, China, in India, in France, Switzerland, pretty much everywhere. And we are not the prime minister of any country so that we get the liberty and luxury of speaking in our own choice of language and there will be a translator for us, no. It's a kind of an automatic default for every developer, every developer that we have to go with English. Now again, let me tell you, a lot of people come from France, a lot of people come from Russia, a lot of people come from India, whose first language is not English. But you know what? I have never ever seen in my life, in, a, in so many conferences that I have attended virtually and at live as well, I have never seen anybody pointing out, hey, you missed out a past tense there. Hey, you missed out a future tense there. Hey, you missed out an is or had there. Nobody cares about that. All they care about is what the person is trying to say. We understand that. What we are trying to say that, you get that. That's the whole motor. People do understand that a lot of people now speak English, but still English is not their first language. Even if you are speaking in your first language, many times you fumble up in your grammars and all these things. So most of the programmers are not like that grammar Nazi. They ignore completely about English. In fact, while reading the documentation, a lot of people can point out a lot of grammatical mistakes, but nobody cares about it because as long as your code works, you are able to say what you want to say, that's all what people care about. So my advice for beginner would be start speaking English and start learning English. Now you don't need to take much of the courses for learning English because you are already good in that. You are on youtube.com, you type that youtube.com completely in English. You are able to read the title of this particular video as well as that was in English. So there is no such need of extra focusing on that but make sure you do practice it regularly. In order to become a great developer you have to first of all be comfortable with English now I can totally totally understand that learning anything or understanding anything in your own personal language whether that's a Tamil that might be a Punjabi that might be Marathi or Marwadi or maybe French or maybe German learning anything in your own language is amazing and it's so simple but eventually you'll become more advanced developer and then there will be no one who can actually teach you in your native language so eventually you'll be moving out in the world world is really big my dear friend and you'll be moving on to the instructors and books and documentation which happen to be in english I also know that after this video is being released on the internet, on YouTube, there will be a lot of people who will be coming, hey, why are you not proud on your language? Now, it's not like that. I'm totally proud on the, all the languages that I do speak. But you know what? These politicians and some mindless people are trying to make you divide based on your languages. What language do you speak or what language you don't speak? But trust me, my dear friend, these all politicians, all these mindless people will not be there to pay any of your bill.
when there will be no food for you to eat, they will not be coming and giving you their own food. It's not going to happen. The reason why you are learning programming, the reason why you are learning all these development skills so that you can become a better developer, you can live a better life. And that path of better life always will go through with the English language. Yes, be proud on whatever the language you speak but there is no exception of English. You'll be talking to a variety of clients who happen to live in France, Germany, United States, Australia, New Zealand, and a lot of other countries which you might not even heard about them. And yes, the eventual way of communication is English. Fact is fact. So summary of this whole long video filled with tons of example is, be proud on whatever the language you speak, but if you want to become a better programmer or developer, start focusing a little bit on English. Now, you don't need to be a grammar Nazi for that or have to take any other extra classes for that. There's plenty of content in YouTube that can improve you in that. But again, the number one way of improving the thing is practice it regularly and practice it daily. Go ahead, hit that like button. If you have enjoyed this video, do share it as well. Also, one more very interesting thing, go down in the comment section below. Yes, there is going to be exciting and amazing comment by a variety of people saying this language is great, this is amazing. All of that is happening in the comment section below. So go ahead, enjoy that. Also, go ahead in the below section of this video, you'll find an amazing red button which says subscribe. Go ahead, smash that and you'll turn that into great, just like a magic. But it will still be fair. No, they don't pick us up.